Hi, I'm Reverend Nina Rowe, founder of AngelsTeach.com, and welcome to Angels Teach TV and Messages from Your Angels for the week of October 11th through the 17th. We are in the middle of a wonderful time of cleansing and clearing in the fall, and you may be able to hear in the background this week the wind, which is quite loud on this beautiful, beautiful clearing kind of day here in New England. This week's messages are coming from Tony Carmen Salerno's Spirit Oracle deck. And I'm hearing actually two cards this week, as opposed to our typical three card spread. Although last week, when I was here with Judy, we did two cards then as well. So let's see what we have from the angels for this week. All right. The balance card. And the Sacred Knowledge card. First thing I'm noticing about these cards when I look at them together is that while some of the colors are similar, they're very geometric. They're very, um, they're very much about energy and the energetic expression. We have something here at Angels Teach we call the Angelic Blueprint, otherwise known as Human Design. And my husband has been studying it in quite a bit of depth for the last, um, I don't know, five years thereabouts, and I've been studying along with him as well. And it's a paradigm based in Eastern and Western astrology, the Kabbalah, the I Ching, the Hindu chakra, chakra system, and quantum physics. And it is an expression, or a way to chart, rather, the energetic expression that each of us carries. And I like to think of it in terms of sacred geometry. And if you put it in simpler geometric terms, it's really understanding that if your energy is more like a triangle, uh, for sake of, of example and discussion here, that if you try to behave like a circle, and you try to roll as a circle would be able to, but you're actually designed as a triangle, it's not going to work very well. So human design is a great paradigm to really understand what your energy is and how it works and how you can utilize it more effectively um, on the earth plane. So to learn more about that, you can find that on angelsteach.com. You can also find that on my husband's website, which is loveyourhumandesign.com. You'll see the words below here, loveyourhumandesign.com. So wasn't intending to go there, but clearly the angels wanted me to mention that with these cards that came forward. Um, looking at the balance card, Two things come to mind. The first thing is the Wheel of the Year. There's a card spread that I like to do, and I actually teach some of my students, called the Wheel of the Year spread. And it's 12 cards, and you pull a card for each month of the year. And it sheds insight on what the angels have to share about each of the months to come, starting with the present month. So that's the first message that I'm getting, that uh, it's, a, it's a good time, and, and perhaps even um, I'm here. I was having a little argument with my angels in my head because they were saying I need to do a Wheel of the Year spread for all of you on Angels Teach TV and I'm kind of having this little discussion of how would that work because it takes quite a bit of time actually to do a Wheel of the Year spread and um, some way or another we're going to figure that out So because they're insisting and as I always tell my students there's no point in arguing with the angels because they always, always win. Second thing I'm seeing, and it's interesting, I'm really, the yin-yang symbol is in the middle, but I'm really more focused on the circles with the hearts in them on the outside. Um, the other first year, wheel of the year, the other message around those hearts is um, something that, that I learned in seminary, actually, around the emissary wheel. And 12 qualities that are associated with the emissary wheel being, let's see if I can remember all of them here, courage, Patience, wisdom, certainty, compassion, joy, clarity, understanding, depth, generosity, abundance, agape. So there you have it. Those are the four qualities of the emissary wheel. And the, the belief, the reality really, is that as you embody those, those 12 qualities, that you really um, are supported in moving to a higher level of consciousness in a very foundational way. Bring you into balance. Sacred knowledge. 
Well, what I'm hearing is that human design that I was talking about a minute ago really is a form of sacred knowledge. It's based on those ancient uh, belief systems, the astrology, the Kabbalah, the I Ching, etc., that are ancient and have been with us for a very long time and carry a certain level of knowledge that oftentimes in our modern fast-paced world we don't necessarily give time to. Um, so I'm hearing that it's, it's a really good opportunity. Um, you can actually go on, and, and my intention is not to, to push human design, but it really is an amazing tool and technique. You can get your chart for free on Peter's website, actually on the Angels Teach website as well, and get a mini report that can give you um, just a snippet of information and see if it works or, or not for you, um, and see if it makes some sense. All right, the last thing I'm getting from the sacred knowledge card here, actually two things. There's, there's an eye, you can I'm sure see the eye there, and it's opening up, and it's, it's dawning, it's, it's coming out, um, and, and becoming more aware. And then the image on the right side of the card looks very much like a bouquet of flowers, and that it's being held up and I'm hearing sacred marriage. It looks like a wedding bouquet in a way. And I'm hearing sacred marriage. And the sacred marriage being really about your relationship with your divine self, with your God, with your angels, and really committing to that in a celebratory way, in a joyful way. So as you learn more about yourself through the, the components of the emissary wheel, through human design, um, through uh, what you learn through the Wheel of the Year spread. Again, that's going to be a, a, an unveiling for me as well. I'm not quite sure where the angels are going with that, but I look forward to exploring it with you. Uh, you will understand yourself on a deeper level and, and be able to commit to that spiritual journey that you have and you alone have with God and your angels. So that is our message for this week. Thank you again for joining me here today. My name is Reverend Nina Rowe, and I invite you to visit us at angelsteach.com where you can find our classes and certification programs, e-courses, and more. My blessings of love, joy, and abundance to you. Be well.